guys, welcome to day six of my 30 day Pilates journey called Finding Your Center. So we have been focusing on some specific areas of the core of our powerhouse um, and today we're gonna be focusing on the back. So a lot of people think core and they think right here, right? So they think just, just your abs, just right here. Well, as you've probably noticed throughout the last or the first five days, we, right, it's, it includes all of this area here, right? Everything right here in our center, including our back. So we're gonna focus today on engaging and activating that back um, in a way that is safe and um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I want you to bring your hands here behind your head because I want to start first with just some movement of the back and movement of the spine. So I want you to inhale, pull your belly in, but lift through your heart and chest here a little bit, a little bit getting a little bit of an arch in your upper back. And then exhale, I want you to pull the elbows down and together as you round your spine. Good. Inhale. Go ahead and open the heart and chest. And exhale to round. Good. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Round. So as you're doing this, also think about our day five, which was shoulders, right? I don't want the shoulders way up here. I want you to draw them down so they're connecting towards the ribs as you go ahead and do this movement. Let's do one more, inhale, exhale. All right, now come back up into center and you're gonna stay here with the crown of the head reaching towards the ceiling. We're gonna find some rotations. We're gonna go ahead and inhale as we rotate to our left, exhale as we come through center. Now inhale as you rotate right and through center. Good, keep that moving. So rotation is so key for keeping our spine nice and healthy, right? So this really works and loosens up that thoracic region of our spine, that middle part of our spine. Okay, let's do two more each side. Okay, try to keep those shoulders pulling down. Let's do one more. Last one. Good, and then draw the arms all the way down. All right, let's come into all fours and just get some bigger movements in our back. Let's just roll through some cat and cow here. So taking an inhale as you drop the belly, lift the chest. And then on the exhale, round the spine, drop the head. And again, inhale to extend. And exhale to round. Good, a couple more, inhale. Exhale, last one. Okay, let's come into some bigger movements now. So let's see if we can find some big spinal circles here. Moving the spine in every different direction. To the side, to the front, to the back. And let the head just move freely with the spine. And then go ahead and reverse those circles. Let's do one more. All right, now let's go to, um, come down to our back now. So coming all the way down, you're gonna keep the feet here, pulling in towards the body and we're gonna have the arms down by your sides to start. So we're gonna to start to focus on loosening up the lower back just a little bit more here. So keeping the arms down, finding the ribs into the back of the mat, right? Pelvis is in neutral. I want you to take an inhale, and then on your exhale, flatten your low back into the mat as you press it down, tilting your pelvis up. And then we're gonna inhale, through center and over to the other side. So you're exaggerating that, that extension, that lower back arching. And let me exhale the other direction. Inhale through center into our extension. Good, exhale. Inhale, so this is just rocking of that pelvis forward and back. Again, loosening up that lower back here, that lumbar spine. 
Okay, let's do a couple more. And last one. Good, so we're gonna do some rolling bridges now. Three, ro sorry, three rolling bridges. And then we're gonna get into some more stabilizing um, work here. So we're gonna start to take an inhale, exhale. We're gonna roll through that spine, peeling the spine off one bone at a time. Inhale, lift at the top. Exhale, lower, 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 and release. Good, inhale here. Exhale, roll it up. Good, inhale, lift. Remember to keep the ribs down. Exhale as you lower back down. Good, so bridge here is a great exercise where we're really feeling or should be feeling and connecting through everything, right? If you let your ribs flare, you're gonna be dumping too much into the back. So we need to stay connected in the front and the back and the sides and then roll it back down. All right, now keeping the spine flat, we're gonna do 10 flat back bridges hinging at the hips. So we're gonna start now, we're gonna inhale, bring it up. Exhale, just tap it down. Good, inhale, exhale. Let's do four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, and 10. Now keep the hips lifted here. Now this could be a little difficult for some depending on your back. I want you to start to snuggle your hands right here underneath your lower back and pelvis. So this does require a bit more arching in the back here. This is gonna be where you feel more of your back body. So maybe you just stay here and see how this feels, right? Or maybe we're gonna move into moving a single leg. So we're gonna start to bring this right leg up to the sky, feeling that stability in our back and our core. As we inhale, reach it away, exhale, lift. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, lift. Last one, keep the ribs pulling down. Exhale, lift. Good, bend the knee, place it down. We're gonna switch to the other side. Good, so we lift that left leg up. Good, keep the ribs pulling down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, lift. Last one, reach and lift. Good, bend the knee, place the foot down. Go ahead and release the hands, letting the pelvis drop down into that regular long neutral spine. And then we slowly, slowly roll down through the spine. Good, and letting the pelvis release here. All right, nice job. Bring your knees into your chest. Just do some circles. So you might have felt that a little bit more in your lower back. And that's okay, as long as it wasn't a pain, right? So we still wanna work those muscles in the lower back and the lumbar spine, but in a safe way. So that's why you have to stay connected through the ribs and the rest of the core to work that um, effectively. So let's go ahead now and come back into all fours. So we're gonna roll on up, come back into that all fours position, and we're gonna come onto our forearms now. So we're gonna get a little bit more movement in the spine here but still staying connected here through the ribs, right? All right, so we're gonna keep this right knee bent and we're gonna press ourselves away from the shoulders or press our shoulders away from the floor, lifting up from our, through our ribs. And now I want you to start to lift your right knee off the mat. Now you're gonna pull that knee under so you feel a nice roundness in your lumbar spine. And then you're gonna let the leg come up as you arch the back a little bit, but still keeping your core strong. And then you bring the leg under and then you reach it up as you arch the spine a little. Good, bring it under, good, and lift. So we're getting some strength work here as well as some Mobility work here in that, in that back. Good, bring it under and lift. Good, let's do three, two, sh 
shoulders stay down and connected. Last one. Good, now reach out, extend the leg long. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna tap the toe down, lifting up through your core a little bit to stretch that lower back. And then you lift the leg, arching that spine. Good, bring it down and lift up. Good, down and lift. Lower, lift. Good. Shoulders, ribs, back, abdominals, all working together. And those glutes, last two, last one. Good, now stay here with this leg nice and long. I want you to come over to your left arm. So you're staying here in a forearm side plank with the knee down. Now I do want you to let this top arm lift up, squeeze the shoulders on the back. Good, pull the belly in, but then let the chest open towards the sky. Take one more breath. Good, and then lower that back down, coming back onto your forearms, and we're gonna do all that on the other side. So, shoulders, ribs, back, core. All right, let's lift that left knee. And then we pull that leg under as we round the lower spine and then we lift it as we arch. Good, bring it under and lift. Good, under and lift. Good. So you can feel here, right, how the, the abdominals need to work as well to make sure that you are not arching too much in the lower back, that you're feeling pain or discomfort. Same that what we did with that bridge, same concept. Good, last two. Last one. Good, reach the leg long, same thing here. Tap and round, and then lift, extend. Good, tap and lift. Tap, lift. Four more, four, three, last two, nice work, last one, good, lift here, and then place the leg back down. Now I want you to come onto your forearm of that right leg now, and you're gonna set up for your opening here on this side. So snuggle the shoulders down, pull the belly in, reach that top arm up, and then we lift, open up the chest here. Good, last breath. Good, lower that forearm all the way back down. And this time go ahead and sink back into a quick child's pose. Letting your forehead come to the mat. Maybe your arms come by your sides. Take a couple breaths here. Last breath. All right, let's go ahead and bring yourself forward now. We're gonna come into a full plank position. But in this plank, I want you to focus on that back body, right? Staying stable and strong, right? With all those pieces working together. So shoulders right over the wrists. When you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and bring the legs back into that full plank. All right, so we're gonna lift a single leg at a time, doing five pulses. So without shifting the body, right, staying centered, go ahead and lift that right leg. Good, and we're gonna pulse it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, lower it down, switch to the other side. Lift, pulse for five, four, Three, two, one, good. Keep pressing into that back, lifting. Switch to the other side, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, last one, the other side. Lift, hold, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, either bend your knees and lower to the floor or in that plank, you're gonna lower all the way back down. All right, so coming down to the mat, this is where we're gonna feel 
really a lot of that back body work here is in our prone position on our bellies. So I want you to bring your forehead to the mat, reach those legs long, good, pull the belly in. Now for this first part, we're gonna keep the legs grounded as we lift through the upper body, including with the arms too. So the arms are gonna lift with the whole upper body. So we're gonna inhale here, lift up the arms, come with you. You're not gonna come very high and then lower back down. And again, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. So you're gonna realize as you're moving, when you've come too far is when you're gonna to start to feel this in the lower back, right? So we're trying to lift up more with that thoracic spine, that upper back. Let's do two more. Last one. All right, so now for this next one, we're gonna stay lifted in our swan as we do our breast stroke. So we're gonna keep the legs down. We're gonna lift up with the upper body. All right, now feel your back, your shoulders staying connected. And we're gonna reach the arms forward, bring the arms down by the sides, and then bend the elbows back in. So we reach forward, come down, bend in, reach, down, bend in, extend. Last one, this direction. Good, now lower back down. Good, belly pulling in, lift back up. We're gonna switch the direction of the circle, so extend the arms back by your sides, sweep them forward in front of you, and then bend the elbows back down. Straighten, forward, and bend. Straighten, forward, and bend. Two more. Last one. Good, lowering all the way back down. All right, let's do our uh, swimming now. So for swimming, we're gonna bring your arms forward. You're still looking where your forehead is um, down towards the mat. And now this time your upper and lower body are gonna lift together like you were coming into a Superman, right? Shoulders down, core pulling in, lifting up. Now, you're gonna lift your right arm, left leg, and then left arm, right leg. And then you're gonna keep alternating here, staying really stable in your center. And then you're gonna move a little bit faster once you've found that stability, right? You might not be moving this fast, that's okay. Good, keep that moving. Arms and legs reaching nice and long, but still staying connected in that core. Good, and hold and release. All right, propping yourself onto your forearms now, we're gonna work into our single leg kicks. So we're pressing our upper body away from the mat, right? So we're not sinking down into the shoulders. So press it away. Pull the belly away from the floor, slide the shoulders down. Now, the legs are about hip distance apart. We're gonna flex through this right ankle as we kick, kick the leg in towards you, reach it away. Flex, kick, kick, and reach. Kick, kick, reach, good. Kick, kick, good, kick, kick. And again, shoulders, core, are supporting that back, right? So if we don't have the shoulders, the core, the ribs pulling up, the rest of the body working together. We're gonna to feel too much pain and discomfort in that back body. Good. And one more each side. Good, and then lower all the way back down. All right, double leg kicks. So hands behind the, the back. Go ahead and grasp onto your fingers. And you're gonna turn your head to one direction. We're gonna alternate each time we come down which direction the head comes down and looks. So we're gonna pull the belly in. We're gonna to start to kick the legs in towards your bottom three times without shaking the body too much. So it's a kick, kick, kick. Good, lift up, reach the arms long, lift the heart, lift the chest. 
lower everything down, look to the other side. Kick, kick, kick. And then lift up, reach, and lower. Good, belly in, kick, kick, kick. Good, lift up, reach, and lower. This is also a beautiful stretch for the front of the chest and the shoulders. Good, kick, kick, kick. Lift, reach, and lower. Good, reach, and lower. We're gonna do one more each side. Good. And lower, belly in, kick, kick, kick. Last one. And lower all the way back down. This time, press yourself up and back into a child's pose. You can choose to do wide knee or legs together, whichever feels more comfortable for you. While you're there, I want you to breathe into that lower spine. Good, one more deep breath in. Send that breath to your lower back. And then let it go. Good, go ahead and sit onto your heels as you stack the spine back up. All right, we're gonna flip on over now, finish up with a reverse plank, which we also did in day five. So as you can see, a lot of these exercises, right? They're working the whole center, the whole core, that whole powerhouse. So this was also working the shoulders yesterday. This is also working a lot of that back body to keep you lifted, right? While still engaging through the center. So let's do this one again. So fingers facing to the side or they can face back towards you. I'm gonna do this one today. And either with bent knees or with straight legs, you start to press into those hands as you start to lift yourself off of your mat. Good, feel how the whole back body has to lift and engage. And then we lower back down. Let's do that again. Press into the hands. Good, lift up. Keep the shoulders connect, I'm sorry, keep the ribs connected. Good, and then lower back down. Good, we've got two more just like that. Lift here. Good, press the shoulders down back and together. Good, and lower. And we've got one more lifting up. Good, press. And lowering all the way back down. Good, take the arms now up to the sky. And with long legs, you're gonna forward fold, letting the head come down to release. Maybe shake out the legs here a little bit. Focusing on that back body here again as you expand into the back. Let's do one more breath. All right, we're gonna get one more stretch here on our backs. So I want you to roll yourself all the way down we're gonna do our lower body twist here. So I want you to pull that right leg in towards your chest. Okay, send the right arm out to the side. Twist over to the left, looking over that right shoulder. So even in this position, I don't want you to work hard to bring the shoulders a bit down, but I do want you to slide the shoulders down in a way to release and relax. I feel that stretch all the way in that lower back and that spine. And then go ahead and bring yourself back to center. And we'll switch to the other side. Left leg pulls in. Good, bring it across. Looking over that left shoulder. Good, one more breath here. Coming back into center, gets to bring those legs in one more time, rounding that spine. Good, and then go ahead and rock yourself up to a seated position, and go ahead and bring it forward into a comfortable seat. Uh, guys, 
back, right? Your back, we tend to neglect it. Let's not forget about that back, right? It is such an integral part of our core. We need to stay connected in all sides. So wonderful job today. Um, if you have any questions about any of this or um, anything about any of the exercises we did today, or just to let me know what you thought, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, and you guys have completed day six. I can't believe it is already day six. You guys are doing awesome. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, and if you want to add on to today's workout, I'm gonna link a quick just core workout, something um, just really focused. And then I'm gonna give you also this little flexibility workout here, just if you want a little extra stretching. Um, I think we have some stuff here for that back body too, so if you wanna stretch it out a little bit more. So thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for day seven.